Good morning. It's Sunday morning, June 3rd, and hope you're having a great day. I'm Pastor Lee, and I have those global end time headline news for you, and this is what I was able to come up with during this week. Um, a lot of my headlines this week have to do with the, 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 the economy. Um, I know I've heard it uh, many, many times for people saying that it's like a house of cards that is just getting ready to, to fall, and it's not going to take a whole lot. Well, it's very true. This economy is exactly like a house of cards. And for quite some time now, they've been propping it up. They don't want the house of cards to come down too soon because they have a specific time period. Well, in my studies this week, with the headlines, it really looks to me like the house of cards are, come, are ready to come down and they can't do anything about it. They can't prop it up anymore. You have the um, quantitative easing one and two, that's just printing more and more money to prop it up, but that's not going to do any good. There's nothing they can do now to keep it from collapsing. So that's that's the time that we're living in. We're living in um, very, very perilous times, as the Bible says. <clears throat> At least when we get to the first headline, it says that the chief executive of Lloyd's of London has publicly admitted that he is prepared for a collapse in the single currency. Well, we know what the, what the Bible tells us, that in these last days that we're living in, we're eventually going to have a one world government, one world religion, and a one world monetary system. And this is what we're seeing, people. As I said, the Lloyds of London has come out publicly and stated that he is prepared for a collapse in the single currency. And we're going to see the collapse of the euro. The euro is scheduled to happen first. And we've seen that teetering big time. And after the collapse of the euro, well, the dollar is planned for collapse, or lack of a better word, uh, the death, the death of the dollar. And when we see the euro completely collapse or be killed, the dollar is scheduled to be killed two weeks later. So remember this, when we, when we see, when I say we, you, me, and everybody who's watching out there, when we finally see that euro come to an end, you can basically start marking it off your calendars. This is what they have it scheduled for. And two weeks after the euro, I said the dollar will be dead, and this is scheduled later this year, sometime before the end of December. And uh, I've just got a, my opinion is all it is, but I think somewhere between October and maybe Thanksgiving. Uh, that's just a feeling that I get. We may see all this happening. The UN creates new, even more powerful. Does the UN need to be more powerful than it is? But so the UN creates new, more powerful global environmental agency. Now this same agency that disseminates Agenda 21 policies to governments will be centralized into a global agency with powerful international banking. This is just another step toward the prophecy of the Bible, where you're going to see a one world government, a one world dictatorship. Of course, you know what I'm speaking of. That is one and only. Antichrist. And Leon Panetta had something to say this week. He said that the U.S. is ready from a military perspective to stop Iran from making a nuclear weapon. Now it's been reported recently that Iran has enough enriched uranium 
for five nuclear bombs. They're not that far away, people. Very, very close to it. So always be watching out for these two particular prophecies to be fulfilled. One is Psalms 83, and of course the other one is Isaiah 17, 1, where Syria, Damascus, Syria, will cease from being a city no more. It'll be left in a heap of ruins. And uh, I don't need to tell you that you see news stories, Syria, on the news constantly. So we're getting close to seeing these prophecies fulfilled. And I say this is an exciting time. Very, very exciting time for the believers. Because for the believers in Christ, we know that soon after these uh, prophecies are fulfilled, and uh, we know that the end is very, is very near there. But the most exciting part is that we know that we're going to be raptured up. We're going to be caught up into the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And that could happen at any given moment. We're not waiting for a particular prophecy or a particular thing to happen. Being caught up in the clouds, the harpazo, or the rapture could happen at any given moment. And... Uh, it's just so exciting for me to see something that was predicted in the Bible, you know, maybe 25, 2600 years ago, spoken through the prophets, and we're living to see this actually happen in our generation. I think, I think it's incredible. Um, House lawmakers, they're examining a, pl examining a plan for the UN, but here's the UN again with all this power, to regulate. Now, they use the word regulate. Regulation and to regulate doesn't sound too bad. It sounds like maybe it's something positive. But it's a play of words. I'd rather use the word that they really don't want to use. It's a lot more accurate. And the word is control. House lawmakers examine plan for you in to control, to dominate entirely the internet. Now, I firmly believe it's not written anywhere, it's uh, not specifically spoken of in the Bible, but I firmly believe and I have for quite a while now that that when the Antichrist is revealed, of course the Antichrist cannot be revealed until the restrainer of the Holy Spirit is taken out of the way first, which is the rapture of the church. But I believe that the Antichrist is going to begin um, his dictatorship, I believe his headquarters, is actually going to be in the UN. I really, really do believe this. He will be stationed, his headquarters, in the United Nations building, and then somewhere down the line, something will happen. Something will happen in the city of New York, because the Bible says that the Antichrist will be over in the Middle East, because he will be in the temple. Remember, he's, the object is set up in the temple that causes the desolation. So, uh, when people speak of uh, Babylon, some people speak of, well, it could be New York City, and Babylon, they're speaking of the ancient Babylon. Well, you know, I think the answer to that could actually be true for both. I think New York City could actually be the modern day Babylon, but that in the very end, he's going to be over there, the Antichrist will be actually over in the original or the ancient Babylon. So I think both of those could be accurate. Um, Fukushima update. You may or may have heard this, may or may not. 6,000 miles away. I mean, just figure how far 6,000 miles is. You get in a car and drive um, 6,000 miles. That's a long way. But 6,000 miles away from Japan, the shores of Southern California are showing evidence of radioactive blue fin tuna. Of course, as the rule of thumb, things are far worse than what they reported on TV. When they put this 
article, this headline, on the TV news, I believe it was CNN, it really surprised me that they even put it on there. But they immediately backed it up saying that they've, uh, scientists have done some research on this and they find that uh, there's not enough uh, radioactive uh, material there to, to cause any health problems. Come on, give me a break. Radioactive. It doesn't matter how little a radioactive is. You don't want anything in your body that is radioactive, but here they are saying, oh, it's radioactive, but it's not enough to do any harm. Baloney. Baloney. Because you got to remember, what's the main object that the government, the elitists, the globalists, the Illuminati, the fallen angels, whatever you want to call them, they're all right. They're all right answers. The Bill Gates Foundation, um, Ted Turner, uh, the Rockefellers. What do you think they're really trying to work at doing? To reduce the population. Reduce the population. Do you think they're going to say not to eat this? No, they want you to get sick. That's why they've contaminated the water, the food, the spray and the chemtrails through the sky. There's virtually well over a thousand, over a thousand different ways that the government and different agencies are trying to kill us citizens. I mean, that is how evil this government is. And if you remember the book of Daniel, Daniel was shown by God what this last empire, what this last government empire is going to be like. And that's what we're seeing taking hold of this country. It made him so sick when he saw what was happening that it actually put him in bed for several days. I mean, this is evil, pure evil, no matter which way you slice it. Um, Obama. Once again, he pushes through yet another executive order. This latest executive order allows the Soviet socialist and our local communities through their committees to adopt and enact UN, here we go again, United Nations regulations, and what's another word I said for regulations? Regulate to control. Okay, so... This is uh, their committees to adopt and enact UN regulations designed to establish absolute United Nations control over every resource of ours. Every resource. They will use their regulatory or control powers to take our lands. I'm speaking of both private and public, and this falls under the Agenda 21. And through the regulation, or, you know, I like to call it control of the land, it will attempt to establish dictatorial control over the actions of we, the people. It doesn't sound like it could someday very soon describe the Antichrist. Exactly. Obama is not the Antichrist. But I believe that he is paving the way for the Antichrist. When the Antichrist shows up on the scene, revealed after the rapture, he's not going to be busy setting up everything. Everything is already going to be set up. The path has been made. He slides into the driver's seat, puts his hands on the control, and starts taking over the world. We're not far from it. Uh, we had an uptick in earthquakes. We had several of them, but two of them, I'll say, 5.8 hit Italy, killing nine people. And North Argentina had a 6.4 quake. But I see these were only two out of several of them. Um, and I want to add uh, to this, this article. Along with the Lloyds of London Bank of England, Reddy's plan for Euro collapse. 
The Bank of England, going along with the Lloyds of London, are planning for the Euro collapse. Of course, we know it's already been figured in. It's designed to happen. And they know good and well the Euro is going to collapse. It's, I say it's been planned for a long, long time. And this is coming in the next few months. Just they're, they're showing signs. They're telling us. They're expecting it. Be watching. Remember I said just earlier, when you see the euro collapse, you got two weeks until the dollar's killed. And then we're going to see, we could see hell begin to break loose on this earth. Um, we've got the Bilderberg meeting going on this weekend. And Machine gun nest and unprecedented security for secret of Bilderberg meeting of captains of industry and government leaders. This meeting of the Bilderberg group this year, once again, as it was four years ago in Chantilly, Virginia, outside of Washington, D.C., we've been having meetings since the 1950s. This year, this meeting this year could very well be the most important meeting of all. But can you imagine they've got machine gun nests planted and they're saying that they're trying to protect the citizens? What a bold-faced lie that is. Uh, Japan and China uh, to start direct currency trading as of this past Friday. It's another sign of what I've been saying. This is the economy. The dollar is dying so fast. Last headline I have for this week. New York City has put a ban on large sugared drinks. Now let me just be perfectly honest with you. The, I mean, sugar is not that healthy for you. Um, but that's not the real problem. The mainstream media is trying to tell you that the problem is with these uh, soft drinks, these sodas, is sugar. Sugar is not the problem. We have a major problem of obesity growing, spreading like wildfire in this country. But it's not from sugar, okay? That's what they want you to believe. The problem is with high fructose corn syrup. Look at virtually every single ingredient you buy. I said a few weeks ago, when you go to the grocery store, don't go there to buy, go there to shop. Look at the ingredients. You'll be amazed at how many, and, uh, how many items contain high fructose corn syrup. And many studies have been done, true studies, to show that high fructose corn syrup causes obesity. Now you, all you got to do is walk outside, go to the mall, or I live just a few minutes from the beach, and you see the condition of people now. I mean, they are like 100, 100 plus pounds overweight. I mean, obesity is not just a few pounds, but uh, it's becoming deadly. Once again, this fits into the plan. Reduce the population down. Make you sick. What better way could they do than just make you become obese, which causes strokes, heart failure? I mean, it's, it's incredible what this, what this government is doing, but it uh, shouldn't be a surprise. It shouldn't be a shock, because if you're a... Uh, a Bible student studying eschatology, studying the end times. This fits right in with the Bible. Exactly what God said we are going to witness. Well, I guess I've wrapped it up for this week. I appreciate you joining me, and uh, God willing, hope you join me again this next week as we continue to walk through the latter days. I'm Pastor Lee, and may God bless.